everyone and welcome to How To 360, where we show you how to make awesome 360 videos. Brought to you by MetaVR.com, the home of 360 video. Hi everyone, I'm Cece and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your videos and photos off your Rico Theta and on to your phone. So those of you who watched my first tutorial on how to use the Rico Theta S will notice that there are three buttons on the side but I only went through two of them in that first tutorial. So in the first tutorial, I went through the on button, that's the top one, and the photo video mode button, uh, that's on the side, that toggles between photo and video. But I didn't discuss the middle button, the Wi-Fi button. And this is gonna be pretty important for showing you how to get your content off your Rico Theta and onto your mobile phone. So I want you to start by going ahead and clicking that middle button. You'll see that instantly it toggles on a new indicator right there. Um, that flashing Wi-Fi sim symbol lets you know that your Wi-Fi is on. That's your first step. So go ahead and click the Wi-Fi button. To get started, you're going to need to have the Theta S app installed on your phone. That's what it looks like. If you don't have it already, you can find it on the App Store or on Google Play. So now I want you to go ahead and open that up. Okay, you're doing well. At this point, you have your mobile phone with your Rico Theta app open, and you have your Rico Theta with your Wi-Fi light blinking. When you first go to open your Rico Theta app, you'll see a big red line through the Wi-Fi symbol, which is telling you that your Rico and your phone are not yet connected. When you click on settings, you'll see connection offline. It's easy to change. Just go to where on your mobile phone you control which Wi-Fi networks you are connected to and look for a new Wi-Fi network that should be called something like Theta XS with an eight digit num numerical code following it. And the password will be the last eight digits of that network, which you can also find on the bottom of a Rico Theta camera, just next to the place where you connect the mini USB cable. Enter that as the password and you'll be connected. When you go back to your Rico Theta app, you'll see that your connection is now online. And when you click the little book symbol on the bottom left, you'll see that that nasty red line on your Wi-Fi symbol is now gone and you're connected. Great. After you've connected to Wi-Fi for your Wiko Theta for the first time, later on you can just use the swipe to connect feature by just pulling down on that arrow to automatically locate your Wiko Theta and one click connect. You'll also notice that whereas before you had two options, app or photos, you now have a third option there, camera. Clicking camera allows you to see and access the content on your Wiko Theta right now. Go ahead and click it. After a few moments loading, you'll be taken to a screen where you can see all the content that's not transferred, if you've transferred any content already, and all of it. These are the photos and videos you've taken on your Rico Theta camera. To so transfer a photo, just click on it. It will instantly load pretty fast and be instantly available for you to view right there on your phone. And you can swipe around using your fingers to look in every direction. It's really speedy stuff. Videos take a little bit longer to load and similarly can be instantly viewed right there in your Rico Theta app. And best of all, it's done the stitching for you. It can take a while, but there's no need to drag and drop it into any other player. The Rico Theta app will stitch the video for you and it's ready to share. You can easily see which videos have been successfully transferred by clicking on the transferred icon to see which videos have loaded. Later, after you've disconnected your camera, you might want to check out your videos. To do that, click on app. Um, where you'll see the videos that successfully been transferred to your phone. And you can just click on them to view your photos and your videos right inside the Rico Theta app. They'll also automatically be saved to your standard gallery here, wherever your media fi files are stored, but you won't be able to preview them in 360. So when you open them like this, you'll see them looking like a stretched up panorama, stitched, but not vehicle, viewed in a 360 player. Uh, and the same goes for photos. So you can click to open them from your standard gallery, uh, like so. Um, but it will look like this and you won't be able to swipe around in the same way as you can on the Rico Theta app. Of course, the next step is to get ready to share your videos with the world. And to do that, you can use Meta via metavr.com. Full disclosure, I am one of the founders of Meta, so it's in my interest to have you use it, but it's really awesome because you do not have to add any additional 360 metadata, which is perfect for beginners. It's just drag and drop, as you will see. Um, so log on to your Meta account and hit upload, little arrow at the top, or on your profile, click upload a video, um, and go into 
documents will be able to see all your recent videos, which should include um, your stitched Rico Theta videos. Go ahead and click it. You'll automatically be able to preview it in Meta. You can swipe around just to check that everything is as it should be. After that, just add your title, your description, your location, hit post, and voila. Your videos are now viewable on Meta in 360 for all the world to see. So there's a lot more I can tell you about the Rico Theatre app and how to really use it to get the most out of your 360 videos. Uh, in the next video, I'll be showing you how to record and take photographs remotely using a mobile phone with the Rico Theatre, so be sure to check that video out. Thanks so much for watching How To 360. I'll see you next time.